Hi all, welcome back to my channel, Loving Little Learners. I wanted to create a video for you all that walks you through how to navigate your activities library and the different features it has on Seesaw. So stay tuned for more. Welcome back to my Seesaw training homepage. I wanted to show you guys what it would look like if you were going ahead and navigating through and organizing your activities library. So if you come over here and click on the light bulb activities tab, you'll have a couple of options that pop up. The first are the activities that you have assigned to your classroom and they'll be over here on the left hand side. You can go through and see what it is that you've already assigned to your class. Next is this area for scheduled activities. Now this is a feature only for Seesaw Plus, but I will go through what that looks like in a bit. This last area is for your archived activities. So these are the ones that you would like to save for later for whichever reason. So let's go back to activities and browse through all the way to our activities library. When you go into your activities library, you're gonna have two options. One, the community library, and two, your own personal library. In the community library, you have the option to choose between which grade level it is that you teach and also choose which subject it is that you want to look for an activity for. So let's choose math. Once I've chosen math, I have a plethora of activities that are available to me that have already been designed for Seesaw. So I can go through and choose which activity I like. Let's say I like this domino addition activity. I would simply click on the heart button here to save it to my library. And if I would like to assign it, I can go ahead and click on it. And I have the option to assign it here. So if I click on this green button, you see that I can choose what class and which students I would like to assign it to. Let's choose this class here. Next, I can also choose to schedule the assignment for later. So if I do not want to, to assign this right away, I can choose the second button here to assign on a specific date and time. So let's say I would like to assign this for Friday at 12, 32 p.m. instead. When I have chosen the date and time, I would like to assign the activity for, I'm gonna go ahead and press this green check mark button and just go ahead and um, confirm by pressing the green button here. So now it will go ahead and pop up on my student's assignments on that date and time. Okay, so the next area I would like to show you is back in your personal library. And if you scroll all the way down, you have an area right here that says My Collections. If you have the free version of Seesaw, you have the option to have two collections. So I would keep them very vague, very broad, um, maybe ELA and math. But if you have Seesaw Plus, you have the option to have 10 collections. So right now I have nine collections. I have room for one more. So if I scroll all the way down, here is an area that says create a new collection to organize your activity. This is where I will type in the name of my new collection and I need a collection for science. So that's the name I typed in and I'm gonna choose create. Once I do, you'll see my new collection pop up here. Let's go into it. I have no activities assigned to this collection yet, but over here, there are three dots that I can choose for more options. I can edit the collection or delete the collection. So let's edit. I can rename my collection and give it a description. I can also choose which color I would like the bookmark to be. Once I'm done and I'm happy with those edits, I can go ahead and press the green button, green check mark. And now I have my limit of 10 collections. These collections are used to help me stay organized. If I would like to assign an activity, I know exactly where I need to find it. Um, if you go all the way to the bottom of your collections, it will tell you here how many activities you do not have in a collection yet. So again, trying to stay organized, I wanna go in and assign these activities to a collection. So once I go into that tab, um, you'll see this little gray button here that says organize on the top of all of the activities that are in this area. So I will look at the activity and see where it's gonna fall in line with the collections that I have already. So let's press organize. And I know that that is a addition 
um, assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and organize it and put it inside of the addition subtraction collection I've made. It's going to automatically go in there. And um, my next item is now in front for me to continue to go through and organize these collections. So that is how I like to stay on top of all of my activities that I have assigned or that I like in Seesaw. That way it makes it easy to stay on top of your students, make sure that you are rolling out activities as much as you like and um, you're staying organized as well. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the, the comment section below. If you have any ideas for any future videos, please also leave those comments below. Thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Loving Little Learners. Thank you so much.